Hello wonderful viewers, I hope you are all doing very great. I have come to you once again um, to serve you rich academic um, content. Um, this time the video is going to look at how to do literature review using Google Scholar. So in the previous video that I made on how to um, search for research articles using Google Scholar, um, I introduced you to the interface of Google Scholar and how we can use keywords to find relevant materials or relevant research papers of interest on Google Scholar. This time we are going to look at how to um, use Google Scholar database for literature review and how to um, download references of any format that you want in terms of whether it is APA or whether it is MLA and, and other referencing um, systems that we have. So, as I have always um, um, done first, we have the Google Scholar, uh, sorry, the Google interface. So, when you have the interface, you type in your Google Scholar over there. So, you have Google Scholar. So, you type in Google Scholar, then um, you press on enter. So, it opens, then you take the first um, item that, you know, appears. And when the item appears, this is the Google Scholar um, 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 search engine. So you type in any topic of interest that is, is on your mind. So I mean, um, on this topic, I'm going to look at um, actor network analysis. Actor network analysis. Maybe I want to do, I want to um, review something about actor network analysis. Maybe in community in community based organization in community based organization i want to review um, papers around this area so when you type in and you press in, um, enter all materials with the keywords of actor network analysis in community based organizations is going to appear so you quickly have to glance through and look at which one that is of interest to you I have already shown in earlier videos how to customize the years that you want. Maybe you want a particular year duration or year frame on your research um, title. So you can select maybe from 2010 to 2022 or what has been done. So basically, I am not going to, you know, search distance by year. But I mean, basically, we want to know how we can do review on the topic of interest. So let's let's take uh, interest in the first one. I mean, this is the actor network analysis of community-based organizations in health pandemics, evidence from COVID-19 response in Freetown, Sierra Leone. This article was published by Wiley Online Library, and it was it is it was, it was led by uh, the first author L.K. Frimpong, S.A. Ochre, S.A. Diko, uh, M. Abunyawa, and and that is it so um when you want to do review when you have your scholar material this way you want to do review you can first of all uh, click on the link over here to read the abstract of the paper and know what the paper or the, the study is fairly about but basically this these things have been actually done in the previous video that um was on google scholar so i will treat um, viewers, cherish viewers that you go back and watch that video. Over here, we will basically work around this interface. I mean, I mean, to so that we can actually build upon what we are doing and not to to, to go back. So, if you have it this way, assuming you have read this paper and you want to know what other uh, other ones are, other ones also are, or what has been done around these topics. Google Scholar has some interesting uh, uh, features. Over here, first of all, we have the save button over here. We have the cite button. We have the cited by. We have the related articles, and we have versions. We have uh, import to ref manager. I will take you through all this one by one. Now, with the save button, the first item is the save button. Let us understand that Google Scholar in its form is a library. So, if you look at the item here it says my library and it has the star button the star means save so if you look at this save has a star also attached to here so 
when you click on save this material is going to save in your library your library is a form of an online library and it is basically managed by your email so since you, you use gmail then you have you, have, you have, already have an online library there so if you click on save the material will, will, will appear in your library so that when in the future you want to go back and look at what you have stored in your library you can easily go back and do that the next item is site site is very important because it helps us to uh, um, uh, reference a material in a particular format so let me click on the site for you to see something if you click on this on the site we have the MLA we have the APA we have the Chicago format we have the Harvard format we have the Vancouver format as well so if you want the MLA which normally the year appears last what you do is that you click on it when it's highlight you can right click on it and you copy this test when you want the APA you do the same thing you click on it you highlight it and you copy the test you can do this for all the formatting sorry referencing styles that uh, um, um, we have now understand understand that depends on what you want to um, copy for example most most of our department in the university here use APA so basically you can copy the APA format when you copy the APA format then you can go and paste it in your word document so as I showed you right right click it and you copy then when you copy you go and paste it in your in your word document or you can have a separate you know a word word file for your references so that is basically what you do how to copy a particular referencing format so there is a chicago style here there is a harvard here and the other ones are also there it depends on actually what you want to you want to do also over here we have some ways of importing these references styles into you know um, referencing managers we have we have referencing managers we have the mendeley we have ref ref works and and other ones we have the end notes which is a, a which is a commercial software so but i i normally entry students to use the, the the open source ones because they are easily available online you can download them so easily um i mean i want to assure you that there's going to be videos on how to use some of these reference managers so that you can easily you know use them in your academic writing which makes your work very interesting and you know up to a particular standard now over here for example if you want to download this reference manager or you don't want to use the alternative of copying and pasting and you want to download, download it into a particular reference manager you can come to refworks and come to refman end note is here if you have an end note software already on your laptop you click on end note and the reference will automatically you know be computed in your in your reference manager that is it then from here we also have what you call cited by cited by cited by if you look at cited by cited by means that articles which have cited this current paper articles which have cited this current paper articles which have cited this current paper so if you click on cited by you will see that this work over here cited the work that we had earlier on so this work here has cited actor network analysis of community-based organizations in health pandemics so it basically uh, um, um, tells you that this material over here is related to the first material so let's go back and see something if you if you look at this material it was published in 2021 it was published in 2021 it means that all materials which have cited this one are going to come after 2021 or let's say if it, if, if, if it was published in um, january 2021 it means that all materials which are going to appear as cited by are going to appear after january 2021 so if you click on the cited by you will see that here is 2022 it means that this material came after this one so that there is a related literature i mean from the title can even see that it's, it's, it's related for example it says that assessing the emergency response role of community-based organizations cbos seven people with disabilities and older adults in puerto rico so that is it so it, it, it tells you that it's something related to community-based organization and that is what i want you to know that, that that is a particular way of you know getting related literature so so quickly 
and let's go back and let me introduce you to one particular thing over here um let, let me show you something for let, let's take the second the second um material if you look at this material the cited by is 94 94 so i mean comparatively to the first one is very extensive for you so you click on cited by so it's going to show you 94 materials which have cited this work tourism chains and pro poor tourism development an actor network of a pilot project so if you look at this material all these materials down here have cited the previous material so we can say that all these are related literature very close to the first one let's take that the keyword here is tourism you can see tourism here tourism here you can see 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 tourism here so i mean tourism is going to run through this this will, this will give you a clue that these materials are related to this topic that is how you do literature review on google scholar that is how you you do that on google scholar if you move on from cited by one other item that we have is what you call related articles related articles so over here is going to also give you related materials to the topic that you are looking out for so if i click on related articles it's going to show me a whole lot of materials which are in relation so it, i mean the difference between uh, related articles and cited by means that the cited by these articles over here have cited this material but related articles have not necessarily cited this material they are related and maybe there's no citation involved in in i mean in one way or the other so this is these are related materials that you can have and you know every uh, 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 research paper that you you search on google scholar have these options and you have to go out and look for them it it, it it can help you to quickly see what have been done in the area so that you don't you know gallivant around and ask ask questions which are easily available to you on the same platform i i hope i hope this thing you know help help all of us to 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 easily um, review uh, literature online it, it 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 is so easy that i mean with, with with a few clicks you are able to identify your way around and get a fair knowledge of recent papers um, that have been published. I mean, using the cast and range I have taught in the previous video, and also to see what and what have been you know done around the paper. It I think that this 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 is very 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 important. Now we have versions over here. Versions normally are a form of um, 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 I mean different ways that the paper has you know appeared. So. I mean, basically, this paper was published in um, Wiley Online Library. So this is the first, you know, publisher of the paper. Maybe the paper has also appeared in different databases. So if you look at here, you say that EuroPMC.org. That means that the paper has also, in a way, uh, uh, been found on that database. We have Discovery.UCL.UK. We have the the PubMed.NCBI.LA nlm dot whatever whatever so you know basically this there are different databases which have actually also published the paper or the paper has found its way to this database that's why it is saying um related uh, it, it is saying different versions actually so that is it the next item is the import to refman import ref, ref refman means reference manager reference manager there are a lot of reference managers that students we have to find out and use I, I, I have actually recommended Mendeley earlier or not recommended basic but I feel that uh, is a, one of the basic ones that we can have because EndNote is, um, is commercial and when you don't have you know the lines cannot operate so with Mendeley you can quickly go around it and you know use it and be, be, be free I mean Zotero is also there is also free that you can also download and use and I think that it is very helpful so when you have those reference managers you go to import into reference manager and it, it gives you a particular way or a format to download the material in the way in, in in the way that your reference manager can use it so 
I think that is very important for you to also note. I mean, we have to learn how to use reference managers. It makes our work very simple. It, it helps us to do references automatically without having to go through the manual process of doing referencing. And I think that is very important that every student must learn how to use a reference manager. I'm going to do uh, further videos where I will talk about how to use reference managers. And I hope you, you subscribe to this this channel for for these subsequent videos you subscribe so that anytime i do a video on academic writing you quickly get it first before you know other people get it thank you so much for your time do not forget to subscribe thank you i appreciate your time for watching